How's it going, people? All right, so this video is gonna be a bit unusual. It is, I guess it's part unboxing and part a request to the interwebs out there to try and to try and help me find something I've been looking for. So in my mind, I have this idea of this, what I call my Goldilocks watch, something that does it all, but also doesn't add in things that I don't want. And I've, I've been looking for that watch for a number of years, haven't found it. I know it has to exist. I am trying to find a watch that is 100% analog, that has high visibility at night, that is probably going to be quartz, and is as low maintenance as possible, as reliable as possible, and also has an alarm. I My hope is that I can buy that one watch, have it forever, never need another one. So what, what do we have in front of me and why, why are these here? So in a way they kind of come close. They all have something that I like about that kind of Goldilocks concept, but they don't hit the mark. So let, let me kind of talk you through this. So the first one that I have is, I don't even know the model number on this to be honest with you, but it's the first quartz that I purchased. Actually, I should say my first solar quartz that I purchased. It is a Seiko. I friggin' love this watch. Um, I don't know the model number. I will try and find it and, and toss it on the screen. When this watch uh, came to me, it had a, um, or when I purchased it, it had a nylon or a Kodora strap that just felt cheesy. I just didn't like it. It was kind of disappointing to have that level of, of disappointment for Seiko. Uh, I replaced it with this NATO strap, or actually it's not a NATO, it's a two-piece. What I like about this watch is it does have a very nice loom on it. it has a day and date complication, uh, which, or functions, which I... I do like. Again, that is something that would definitely fall into that Goldilocks category. It is solar, so I don't have to worry about a battery wearing out. And I think this watch, if I were to wear this for ever and ever, it will be it will be just fine and life will be good as we know it, and there'll be peace and harmony and all that good stuff. What this doesn't have, obviously, is an alarm. So I would like a daily alarm so that if I'm in the middle of that deserted island somewhere and I need to need to wake up at 545 to have tea with an aborigine somewhere. Uh, I can do that, and this doesn't have that. The next Seiko that I was, well, you can tell I've, I've kind of worn this in the wrong place, was the Seiko Monster uh, Prospects. This is a great watch. I really love this watch. 120 quick uh, click unidirectional bezel, day date complication with a Cyclops. It is, it is a great automatic. I have zero complaints about this. I will happily keep this forever. It does what I need to do. I will probably dive with this at some point. Haven't yet. It is kind of like my my daily wear. As you can see, I was I was uh, wearing this as I was remodeling a shower, and that is thin set. I sure hope I can get that off. Seiko Prospects Monster. Love this watch. Uh, on my wrist, it is one of my latest purchases. It is a uh, Citizen Promaster SST. Love this watch. It feels incredible. Just the way that this was manufactured, just the the attention to detail that they put into this, the way that they've that they've shaped the back of the watch, the polishing on the case, the the type of leather, I don't know what the leather is, but the type of leather that they've used. All in all, this is a this is a great feeling watch. It does it does everything I'm looking for. The only downside of this is something that I do not want on that Goldilocks watch. And what I said in the beginning, things I don't want, is I really don't want an LCD. I know that this is a very easy way to obtain that alarm functionality. And also uh, that backlit is pretty cool. It's got a, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it has this red digits only illuminator on it. Very, very cool watch. I have no complaints over this. The only complaint I have is that, uh, yeah, I have to have a backlight and an LCD in order to make it visible and to have the alarm functionality. So definitely not the Goldilocks watch that I was looking for. Citizen Eco Drive, so it's solar. Uh, love this watch. It is a daily wear watch. Yeah, but I think this cost me, what, 600 bucks, something like that. Uh, another 600 bucks. I don't know what this one was, maybe three. All in all, there's a couple thousand dollars worth of watches here, and I still don't have that one that I'm looking for. So what's in this box? It is not a Seiko, not a Citizen. It is not a not a quality brand per se at all, but it is probably 
closest to this this citizen and what it is and what it delivers and I had to pick it up because I was shocked at at what it appeared to provide and and the price point on it so I'm, I'm gonna do it uh, here's the name it's a Timex um, I know Timex has a bad rap with some people I grew up in Connecticut and they are the Connecticut watch company. They're here, they've always been here, so everybody's always had a, a Timex. I have never had this one, but I wanted to see how close it came to the Citizen or these other functions for a $50 price tag. So here we go. It is much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. It is a Citizen Expedition with Indiglo. Let me see how to get this, how to remove this. You have to be careful not to destroy the priceless packaging how in the world okay i don't know how they put this in here but they they need to patent whatever that is i guess we know how they put it in there it's not visible how did, i guess i could have snipped it let's snip it now all right i guess now you understand why i have thin set on my 600 dollars prospects right it's not getting any easier folks Oh my gosh so here we have the citizen mother did i say citizen here we have the Timex Indiglo Expedition. So why did I buy this? Well, like I said, it's a $50 watch. Uh, it is all analog. It does have a high degree of loom, if I can figure out where the Indiglo button is. So I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but the entire back lights up. It has all of the functions that I was looking for in that it is quartz. It does have an alarm, obviously, with the digital functionality in here. It is probably going to be a reliable watch. It is a bit smaller than I expected, probably in the 30, some odd 35, 38 millimeter range. Now, these pushers are kind of kind of odd they looked they definitely looked better on Amazon uh, maybe that angle shot whatever not a big fan of this uh, of this fake bezel and it looks like a fake diver bezel it does not move $50 watch probably reliable Timex they generally don't build garbage uh, they just build affordable watches it has all of the functionalities I mentioned at the beginning high degree of lum illumination or visibility at night it is quartz movement so it will be accurate it has it has an alarm the only part that bothers me about it is it does have this pretentious bezel on here I do not know what it's rated at at all for for water resistance 50 meters water resistance stopwatch customizable alarm leather strap rugged outdoor watch well yeah okay 50 bucks though it does have that two-piece leather pleather kind of oh it is leather that two-piece seamed leather so i don't see this leather strap holding up forever but it's really not meant to again 50 dollar watch anyway so where am i going with this bottom line i'm trying to find like i said that goldilocks watch if you will i'm trying to find probably a quartz would love it to be solar trying to find something that has that's totally analog has an alarm good visibility at night i've come close in many aspects spent 600 bucks on a watch that has pretty much the same functionality as a 50 dollars watch but again I, I i had to had to take on an lcd and a backlight in order to get that that loom at night timex expedition 50 bucks not a bad little watch at least it doesn't appear to be a bad little watch might actually wear it a few times and and uh and do a review on it if you know of a watch that fits the category to so behringer any or anybody just just let me know uh, i'd love to find it thanks so much